Kenya has been home to some of the finest hip hop groups in Africa throughout the years, starting from the iconic Kala Mashaka in the 90s. To Wakadi Nali today. One thing we can all agree on is that Kamula was the closest thing to taking Kenya music to international levels. At the moment, you are the biggest thing in Africa. Money is the motive, music is the way. Kamula is the name. Here are seven facts you might not know about Camp Mula. Miss Karun was just 14 years old when the group was formed. It's quite surprising because I never considered her as being that young when they initially gained attention. However, watching their videos now, it's evident she was indeed very young. So Camp Mula started when I, when I had like just joined high school. I was probably like 13, 14. Karun was only 14. And then I tried to tell Marcus, but I mean, really, Karun is 14. Surely, you almost got emotional, but she's so talented, <laughs> mom, mom, no, she's too talented. <laughs> Camp Mula members speak Swahili. There's always been a question about whether they could speak the language, given their rare use of Swahili words in their songs. However, I can confirm that they are fluent in Swahili. Kenyan radio and TV station only started playing their music after seeing their music being played internationally on channels like MTV and BET. And now, suddenly we're on BET, followed closely by MTV Base. Kenyan radio started playing them after ignoring them for about six months. They were also the first Kenyans to be nominated for the prestigious BET Awards. All the members of the group were born at Nairobi Hospital, except for Teo Tripper, who was born at Aga Khan Hospital in Nairobi. I was born in Nairobi Hospital. I was born in Nairobi Hospital, Nairobi, Kenya. I was born in uh, Nairobi, <laughs> Nairobi Hospital. Uh, born in Nairobi, born in Nairobi Hospital. I think I just met up in Nairobi Hospital. <laughs> I was born in Nairobi, Aga Khan Hospital. Whiskey had to fly from Nigeria to Kenya just to get a collabo with Camp Mula. Whiskey, shout out Whiskey. Whiskey came here, they got into the studio, they did something. Listening to Mula, thinking I'm a Mula. Easy, I'm a feet. I'm passing it with honors. Now we're eating lobster. Because we born, we top charts, we young cats. Whiskey is now collaborating with artists like Chris Brown. I wonder where Kamula will be now if they had stayed together. After Camp Mula, Teo Tripper suffered from depression and even considered suicide. Uh, for the first time, I was really just alone, you know, by myself at home. And I felt like, oh my goodness, so now Camp Mula's gone. Um, and I was seeing other people doing really well. People who I know were looking up to me before. And I was mm. like, oh my goodness, did I just completely sabotage my entire life you know i'm not in university like i'm like okay so i have no Second degree guessing. before i knew it i found myself in a space where i was like man i am i'm not happy suicide was something that was just like i considered it but then now when i think about it it's something that's so it's foolish it's a little short-sighted party don't stop and addicted was shot by the legendary nigerian video director clarence peter for free this party don't stop don't stop got me so He later made another video for them, Hold It Down, but this time they had to pay a fee for his services. So we get back Clarence, this time at a fee, for to do Hold It Down. Hold it down. So there you have it, 7 surprising facts about Cam Mula. Did you know all of the above and are there any other facts about Cam Mula that you think we missed? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow us on TikTok and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Your support means the world to us. Stay safe and we will see you in our next upload. Bless. Ladies and gentlemen, Cam Mula.